Homework tonight is 3 2 and 10 on an open number line. This is a nice way to incorporate a little bit of what we covered yesterday with a number line to see how those hops represent movement on a hunter's chart. So this is using an open number line to find each sum. You've got 63 plus 30. So your child, first of all, should think of it says in my teaching manual and I talked to other teachers that you can start with a bigger number. To me, I I just start with whatever's first with the two digit plus two digit when we were teaching today when I explained to the class this morning. Because it's not gonna make a world of difference for this. There's times where like four plus nine, nine plus four. You want to start with the bigger number and add four more on instead of counting up nine. This this doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense to me. So start at sixty three. So your child wants see when they see sixty three plus thirty for an equation, solve. Start at 63, immediate, that's it. That's the first thing. And what you want them to do is you want to ask this question. You want to say, when you see 63 plus 30, so you use an open number line to find your sum, ask them the first step. Uh, that's the first step they're going to write in explanations. They need to be able to write, to think out loud of those steps and explain them to you, what they're going to do first, second, third. And if they can say, first I think I'm going to do is start at 63, and then I'm going to count on. 30. Well, you could count by 1s, you could count by 5s, you could count by 10s. Well, 10. For this, these purposes, we have 3 10s is 30, so we're going to count on 3 10s. Plus 10. Plus 10. Plus 10. So you've got 63 plus 10, 20, 30. There's 10, 20, 30. And then, now, your child, again, if they want a 100 chart, they can grab one. Uh, we, I gave some students these today in class. They could use a hunter's chart to use when you have 63 and counting on 10. So the three hops they would be doing plus 10 would be 10, 20, 30. So they're going to write 73, 83, 93 on their open number line. Now, if your child doesn't have that in their brain, 73, 83, 93, and there's your three hops. So 63 plus 10, 20, 30 is 93. They don't have this in their brain. Again, I have extra hunters charts. Take them home. Keep them. Keep them at home for the whole school year. Put on your fridge. Use it for this. This is a great tool to use throughout the school year. I will give them copies of hunters charts for uh, different quizzes and tests as well if they need them. They're allowed to use them. Get that out as a tool. It's a great tool to use. Same thing over here. Ask your child what's the first step. 47 plus 20. Start at 47. I see 20. I'm gonna hop. Plus 10, 20. So if you can unpack that, oh, I have to go 20, I have to plus 20, I have to go 10, 20. Start with that first, and then they can add the 10 to 47 plus 10 is 57, 67. So my answer is 67. And if they don't have this in their brain, they, they might say, hey, listen, 40 plus 10, I don't, or 47 plus 10, I don't know what it is. Okay, I'm kind of under sure. 47, 57, 67, come down. Or if they, they still don't believe you, have them count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Show them, which I had to do today as well. We want it, they want a picture in their brain of that hunter's chart. And again, you might say to them, use this and talk about it, 47 plus 20. This is what we're building towards by the end of the school year. Three-digit plus three-digit addition, subtraction with regrouping. That's what we're building towards. We're just working around strategies in their brain and teaching their brain how to figure out some of these place value and decomposing numbers. 7 plus 0 is 7, 4 plus 2 is 6, 67. Same thing over here. 63 plus 30 vertically. We'll get to this at some point this year. Just not yet. 3 plus 0 is 3, 6 plus 3 is 9. It's the way I learned in school. All this is doing is breaking down the skill to counting by tens up so they can see that before they get to regrouping it. Tens and ones. Flip it over on the back. Still pretty, pretty familiar skills that we were just working on the front. Bridget has 34 books. She gets 30 more books. How many books does Bridget have now? Again, have them write this down here first because some students are showing their work and they're just not writing answers on tests. 34 plus 30. Now they can take this information. They realize, oh, I started 34. And I add 10, 20. 30, 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, 30. 
Now some of them might understand that 34 plus 10 is 44. 54, 64, or they might need 34, 44, 54, 64. Use this as a resource. If you need a copy, please let me know. Or tell your child to come to school and grab one off the table. I went over it with them in school too. Put the responsibility on them. So 34 plus 10 is 44, plus 10 is 54, plus 10 more is 64, 34 plus 30, 10, 20, 30 is 64. Find the missing number. It says algebra, but really it's not algebra here. This is just finding the sum. They would have said, not had a 20 and said 77 and said what number is missing. That would have been more of an algebra. So they let you off easy today. So start at 57. Add 20 plus 10. 20. Two tens is 20. Use that hunter's chart or stack the numbers. 57 plus 10. 67. 67 plus 10, 77. 57 plus 20 is 77. Number 5, Mary did 20 jumping checks on Monday, 30 jumping checks on Tuesday, and 20 jumping checks on Wednesday. How many jumping checks did she do on all three days? So your equation is going to be 20 plus 30 plus 20. So that's two tens, three tens, two tens. Seven tens total. So you're starting at zero. She didn't have any jumping jacks. She started on Monday and then Tuesday and Wednesday. That's three days of jumping jacks. Seven tens. Twenty. Ten. Twenty. And then thirty more. Plus ten. Plus ten. Plus ten. There's thirty more. Now we're at thirty. Forty. Fifty. And then twenty more. Ten. Twenty. Sixty. 70, 70 jumping jacks, or 20 plus 30 plus 20, 20 plus 30 plus 20, 0, 7, 70. If you want to talk about how it's going to apply to future lessons. Which equation does this number line show? Well, it shows I'm starting at what number? 70. Well, they all start at 70. Great. Figure that out. It shows I'm going to add 10, 20, 30. It shows I'm going to add 30. Only one that shows up in hand 30. 70 plus 30, that's only one that only hands on 100. Can't be any of the other three. Pretty straightforward homework tonight. Again, hundreds chart. If your child doesn't have a hundreds chart at home, you know, if you have one at home, great. If you don't, you need one. You can send more home. They can take one home, and I've got a whole stack of them, and they can practice with them and use this throughout this unit as a resource to answer some of the homework questions, especially last night. Instead of using that, you can get this laminated. I got some laminated copies you can take home. Write dry erase markers on here and practice. Say, okay, let's do 26 plus 32. Well, and then you, they just they do it. That could be a game you play. Get out a, a highlighter, it's laminated, and let's just let's get that dry erase marker out and say 13 plus 24, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 37. And they're practicing that skill they reinforced last night so that it's not taking as much time at home practice some of these skills. So if you spend five to ten minutes and say, okay, we're going to do five, five of these real quick. 52 plus 32. 52 plus 32. 10, 20, 31, 30, and 4. And they can draw with their dry erase markers on there. We can have it laminated for you. You can take it home and they can practice. So it's a way to make this fun, but you're just going to have to pick out moments and say, okay, the core skill last night was using a 100 chart. Tonight is counting on by tens. And that's just looking at the ones. The ones is going to stay the same. The tens is going to get one bigger. So that's the conversation night to have. When you see 34, plus 30, that 4 is going to stay the same, that 3 is going to consistently change the tens digit, the ones digit is going to stay the same, that's what they need to take away tonight, and be able to show that counting by tens can represent those numbers, the hard part is that when they're not 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, the zeros, when it gets into a little tricky with the sevens, or the threes and the fives, whatever that one, the ones digit changes for the zero gets a little bit more challenging. But again, when they have that picture in their brain about the 100 chart, it makes life easy. Thanks.